message today it was awesome in the presence of the lord yes thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for pressing the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for liking my video for the thumbs up thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you guys thank you guys thank you thank you thank you i got more calls than comment thank you guys thank you guys and today you know we had a topic last week i'm sorry i could not upload during the week due to some busy schedule i'm so 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 sorry it won't happen again yes last week we talked about it, the topic that for men when men cheat when men do this when men do that how they don't leave property for their wife and children how they don't trust their wife how they don't want their wife to do this or that so today we are going to be talking of the women 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 the ladies in the house please put all your wine in your glass cup and put all your quick quick shoe you know what i mean babe so today we are going to be talking of those of the that of the women today first of all before i go into this video please and please i'm begging us including me we the women the men are very very angry why are they angry yes they are very very angry they said we are always predicting that they will die first that is why we are dragging for properties did you hear what they said yes you heard me right that is what they actually said they said the men the men are angry that we women are predicting that they are going to die first. That is why we are dragging properties. So are you coming into the marriage or are you coming into the relationship because your husband to die and leave property for you? Or you are coming because you want to marry, because you want to be one with the person? So please, women, stop predicting. You know, me, I'm pleading with you just the way they plead with me. Or they say I should say it to... Stop predicting. Nobody knows who is going to die first. A man can die first. A woman can die first. Even you see, sometimes it's not what we wish or pray for. You die before your parents or your children die before you. So it's not what we wish or pray for. But nobody knows who is going to die first. Unless you have a magic of killing them. That is what they are asking. Do you people have timeline for them? You have a magic hands of killing them. So let's put that aside. Now, for the women please and please stop building with the men yes you heard me right i'm not trying to poison anybody i'm not trying to make sure i'm not trying to destroy any home there is a parable that says, above and they will not here with me even if i advise you it is what you want to do from your mind that is what you will do so the reason why i'm saying this because the men they say that is why they are not leaving all the properties for you that whenever you know that you are in their nest of king or their property will go to their wife and everything before you know something happened to the man the man dies so maybe they are thinking you are the people that are not you us <laughs> let me not move that sir. we are the people that are killing them we women that women are the one planning their death or this or that so please and please women women and women stop building so that you will not regret at the end let the man be building his own and you'll be building your own instead of you say okay I will pay for food, school fees, and that you just be building her so that we we'll have home of ourselves. Yes, another reason why I say that that is that aside. Sorry if I'm too fast or my voice. Another reason why I, why I'm going to say you people, we women should be building for ourselves is because you see, if a man, a man will tell you a woman that has house. It's not ready to stay in our husband's house. Listen, you know, just listen carefully. A woman that have house is not ready to stay in our husband's house. A woman that have asset is not is not ready to bend down for a man or submit. A woman that, that is a flesher cannot submit to a man, cannot stay under one man, cannot want a man to control her. A woman that is uh, so popular in the society, don't want to bend down for any man. See? These are just fleeting excuses and fleeting reasons where they will give to you and say, don't build, don't do that. Let me tell you, most of these men in the state I came from, Edo State, if not for the guest children, I don't think there will be any flashing houses. I'm not saying the guys are not building, you know, please don't get me wrong. But before the men started, and most of you that know what I was saying, the 90s, 80s, 90s, 2000, all those things, if not for our female children that are traveling abroad, building home, packing so many families, that so many are not in Europe, so many are not exposed, so many are, I don't think there would have been any of all these things. So now, their sisters have houses, their mothers have. Even the children you have for them, they want to build today, they will still tell them to bring to build. They will not tell them to go and give the money to their husband. Though. Listen very carefully. If your husband is telling you that if you have us, if your own daughter that you bear for him is going to build a house today, he will tell you, come and build house for my daughter. Don't listen to your husband. But he doesn't want you to have. 
and you don't want your wife to have because you want her to build with you that husband and wife are one but if the woman are built with you you cannot leave the property for the woman or you cannot trust the woman with the property or you cannot write the woman name on the property but you want the woman to build with you you want the woman to submit to herself to you want you want the woman to give everything to you eh so now tell me how is it going to be possible when you as a man you as a man you don't want to give the property you want the woman to build with you you want her to build with you too many phones order you want her to build with you and you don't want to give her the, the the property and you don't want her to be the head of your assets but you want her to, to gather her money and give to you i just silent the phone sorry guys you want her to give you to help you to build and you will not give listen oh these men they know what they are doing before oh, let me finish before i say the statement i wanted to say now if you don't follow them build they will not see a side chick that say if you don't give me this i will not follow if you not then that thing that they are saying a woman is not supposed you will not give it to side chick why are you guys building houses for your side chick if it's not supposed why are you guys building houses for your concubines for your second wife for other ones but the one you have at home you say eh, if you want to be a wife you are supposed to do this you are supposed why why are you building if you know for a woman to have a house is not good for a woman to have access is not good for a woman to have car why are you buying it for your side chicks then why are you giving them to your side chicks why are you building buying for your side chick and you don't want your wife to build you want her to convert everything to you and you cannot do you cannot tell your daughter to give all she have to your husband why is it that it's female children that are taking care of the parents more than the male child like 90 percent i say more than i didn't say may are not taking care of because you want your, your female daughter to, to come home with assets you want her to come home and say ah, my husband said i should give you this my husband said, then you are happy for you to have assets is not good for you to have car why are you buying it for your side chicks then why are you giving them to your side chicks why are you building buying for your side chick and you don't want your wife to build you want her to convert everything to you and you cannot do you cannot tell your daughter to give all she have to your husband why is it that it's female children that are taking care of the parents more than the male child like 90 percent i say more than i didn't say may i'm not taking care of because you want your, your female daughter to, to come home with assets you want her to come home and say ah, my husband said i should give you this my husband said, then you are happy but you don't want your wife to take something home that is wickedness, barbaric. And let me tell you why I'm coming to this now. This barbaric act or this wickedness act, they did it long time ago because women have no voice. Because then a woman cannot sit with a man when they are doing meeting. A woman cannot sit and make decisions. A woman cannot do anything. Even in the church then, they restrict women for everything. I will read all the, all the verses for you guys. The women, they restrict women for everything. So that is why they make this barbaric and unfavorable and uh, uh, what, what am I going to call it? Is it a law that they pass that a man can cheat, a man can marry, a man can pregnant so many women, but a woman cannot do it. It takes two. It is either man or woman, whether animal or anything, creature or anything. It is either man or woman. It takes two to tango, and it is either man or woman. So now, let me tell you something. You see, let me tell you the reason why you think somebody told sorry for the for the breaking transmission i'm so sorry so now what we're saying the reason why they put this barbaric act is that women cannot make decision then and now let me tell you if every creature it takes two to tango whether a man or a woman do you know what the reason why the men say eh, eh a man was telling me say eh, if you cheat on a man it's very very painful the women i think he's not paining the women because they just take it and they don't complain a man can marry two wife and bring home a man can pregnant see the reason why you think women are not complaining you see our government you know what they are doing is not good can you fight anybody even if you fight you will not be able to win it's either they kill you or they silence you or they imprison you so that is how it is in a woman you don't you don't engage or fight that you cannot win that is why you see most women that you say okay if i cannot beat them i join them. that is why you see most divorce these days because okay now listen on you men you want to cheat I don't understand. You want to cheat and let you, and you want the woman to remain. Okay, you want to cheat. You want the woman to remain just as old days. But you guys are changing every day. How come is it that the my most difficult problem is that? How come everything in the world is changing except the tradition of women? 
that a woman must not cheat, a woman must not cheat, a woman must not cheat, no matter how developed the whole thing has become these days, but you still stand for that olden days barbaric of a woman. How can a woman not cheat? The people you are cheating with is, are they not women? Some of you are sleeping with people's wife. Aside of a uh, uh, young guest, you are sleeping with people's wife and you know they are people's wife. So you don't want you don't know what is what you do to others that will come to you. Because the women, you cannot go and fight government now. Nah, eh, yeah, government, they are not doing well, they didn't tire of that. You can't fight. So that is how women are. They cannot fight. That is why these days you see them living in home. You cannot expect me, the women mother live in Nighting Bilgigri, no date. Sorry for the for the broken. The woman mother live her life or my great 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 grandmother. I should continue living my life that way when there is too many in this twenty how many centuries now. Now that there is too much expulsion, there are too many things that a woman can go to school, cook, make decisions, be a governor, even president. And you see, expect us to remain. That does not make you a virtuous woman, provided you did not destroy your home by yourself. That is not the virtuous woman they are, they are, they are talking about in the Bible. Virtuous woman, they did not write it there that when your husband cheats, you will be there. When your husband disappoints, you will be there. When your husband, that is not the virtuous woman. A virtuous woman is not here to suffer. A virtuous woman is, marriage is endurable. Not endurable. Marriage is supposed to be the best thing on earth, the most beautiful thing, the best union God ever meshed together. Guys, I will. you are not ready. It's just a normal thing. If you will accept, you want me to accept your own as normal thing, why can't you accept my own? Guys, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching, accept your own that, eh, hey, a man can cheat, a man can do this, a man can do that, and you, you don't want to accept that of the woman. That is me, it's a barbaric out. If you want to cheat and come home, you want me to, 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 to accept you. You went out and slept with another woman. You want me to accept you. And you don't want me to go out to sleep. He just take two to tango. I'm not saying anybody should cheat or cheating is a good thing. But what is good for the good is also good for the tangas. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this will bring a little touch into our scores. Thank you guys. Bye. I love you guys. Little touch into our scores. Thank you guys. Bye. I love you guys. Love you guys. See you in my next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe.